Hello, Vinji kids, and welcome to this week's Bible story time. We have a great story today, and I bet that you maybe have heard it before. I'll give you some hints. It includes a big fish that some people will call a whale, a prophet, and, um, let's see, a man who is tossed overboard in the middle of a storm on the sea. Do you know what story it is? It comes from the book of Jonah, and it's often called the story of Jonah and the whale. If you have your Spark Story Bible, you can pull it out and read along. Uh, let's read together. One day, when Jonah was just minding his own business, God spoke to him. God said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and to tell the people that they aren't living the way I want them to. I want them to change their ways. Jonah may have started with the right idea, but once he started walking, Jonah began thinking about what a long walk it was to Nineveh. Hmm, Jonah thought, I don't really want to go to Nineveh. I'll go the other way. God will never know. So Jonah walked and walked away from Nineveh. And when Jonah got to the sea, he paid to get onto a boat to take him even further away. Oh. <sighs> Jonah yawned. Oh, that walking made me tired. I'm going to take a nap. Jonah curled up on a pile of rope and fell asleep. But God saw Jonah. Whoosh! God sent a strong wind that tossed the ship to and fro. The sailors were so afraid that they started throwing things overboard to make the boat lighter and to save themselves. The sailors worried. What's going on? They woke up Jonah. God is mad at me for not listening, Jonah said, so throw me overboard. And they did. Suddenly, the sea was calm again. Look out, Jonah! Here comes a big fish! Gulp, gulp, gulp. The fish swallowed Jonah, and Jonah sat inside the dark, smelly fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed, help me God, I'm sorry. Finally, the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. Trudge, trudge, trudge. Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the people what God had said and they believed him and changed the way they were living. God was happy that the people of Nineveh were now living as God wanted. Hmm. Well, that's where the story Bible ends, but there's actually one more chapter in the Jonah story. It's an important chapter, too, so I'm, I'm just going to add... I'm just going to add a couple pages to the story Bible so we can finish the story. Okay, let's finish it. Where were we? Oh, that's right. God was happy to see that the people of Nineveh were now living as God wanted. But Jonah became very angry that God was so forgiving. He threw a temper tantrum. God, I knew that you were going to forgive the people of Nineveh, he said. And that's why I ran away. I would rather die than see them forgiven. Jonah stormed away. God gave Jonah a bush to rest under because it was a hot day when Jonah needed some shade. And Jonah was happy about the bush. Then God sent a worm to eat the bush. And Jonah was sad. God said to Jonah, Well, if you care so much about this bush, then why do you think that I wouldn't care about the people of Nineveh even more? The end? That's where the story ends, just with God asking Jonah a question. You know, this story reminds me of a time when I was in school and the teacher had assigned us some homework to do. And so I went home and I did the homework and when I came to class the next day, like half the class hadn't done the assignment. And I thought, oh boy, these people are really going to get it. And our teacher, instead of punishing them, just gave us all an extra day to do the assignment. And I 
was so mad I had done the work and they had it and they were just getting let off the hook and it didn't feel fair <laughs> and I think that might be kind of like what Jonah feels in this story he feels like the Ninevites who have done some really mean and awful things they're just getting let off the hook too easily but Jonah kind of gets let off easy too you know, God forgives him and gives him another chance when he runs away. Just like God gives the people of Nineveh a second chance. Just like God gives us a second chance. And just like God gives the people that we disagree with another chance too. God is full of second chances, I guess. And man, sometimes that is frustrating. But most of the times, that's a really good thing. Because I know that I need a lot of second chances, and maybe you do too. And I am really grateful that God will stick with me when I make mistakes, that God will give me a chance to fix things, that God leaves room for me to become a better person and to become more like the person that God wants me to be. And I know that God does that for you too, that God loves you and forgives you and gives you second chances and leaves room for you to grow and change. Should we thank God for that gift? Let's pray together. God, thank you for giving us second chances when we make mistakes. And then another chance, and then another chance. You're awesome and we love you. Amen. That's all for this week. Thanks folks, see you next time.